Okay, this uh, video is going to be a real quick how to enable both text to speech and then so like the page reading to you and then also a way for you to speak and type into Google Docs. Um, I did a test run, that's what this is. So uh, we're going to come down to this little bottom sort of corner and we're going to bring up these settings here. And we're going to scroll to the bottom of this initial thing that comes up when you click on settings and it's going to take us to an option that says advanced. Okay, from advanced are advanced is going to have us come down to the very bottom and we see accessibility this is going to be where we get all of our customizing features to sort of um, make using our Chromebooks easier so I'm gonna go ahead and click this arrow and the first one is enabling this um, select to speech so that way you can if you see the little microphone icon you can pick that and then it'll type into Google when you click on that um, this text-to-speech voice settings I had to go in and adjust myself so I made sure that I set it to English because it was on a different language. Um, so I came all the way down to the bottom and then made sure it was in English. So that means if I highlight something and I want it to be, your text -to -speech voice. I want it to be read to me, it'll come out like that. Okay. Um, so those were the first features I put on. And then the next feature though, is the ability to have my keyboard, uh, like in place of my typing, right? And so what I'm gonna do is come down to, this is still inside that, uh, accessibility settings scroll down to where it says keyboard and text input and we're gonna do enable dictation so speak to type um, okay so when I just speak to type like that that should be good let me go ahead and get out of this settings menu now I can come to something like a Google Doc I'm gonna go ahead and give myself space and um, I'm just gonna want to reload really quickly okay so when my Google Doc loads now, if I want to apply this to my Google Doc, for example, I'm going to come up to where it says Tools. And I'm going to use this option that says Voice Typing. Oops, I see my little me is in the way. Let me go ahead and fix that for you guys. There we go. Shrink myself even smaller. So we see from Tools, it says Voice Typing. And that literally is what it says it is. So if I click Voice Typing, we're going to see this pop up on the side. And I'm going to give it a click to speak. So now, when I'm typing, it's actually reading my voice. Notice that I have to speak slowly so that it picks up what I'm trying to write, period. And then when I'm done typing, I can just push this and see it was starting to pick me up as well. I can push that to then stop that. Um, yeah, and what I found was it works really well with Google Docs. Uh, with Google Slides, it was a little bit wonky, meaning in Google Slides, it wants to put those as speaker notes at the bottom, not actually typing up into Google Slides. So um, if I find a better way for it to navigate with Google Slides, I will do a part two to this video, but at least there is part one to sort of get that feature activated and be able to use it with Google Docs right out the gate.